Okay, in this video we're going to estimate nails for sheeting and decking. Sheeting is the plywood that goes on the outside of your house that encloses the entire house. Decking is the boards that go on the roof. Um, I guess you could even add subfloor if you because it you know, it's, they use the same nailing patterns um, for each of them, okay? Now, how do we figure out for this, all right? So first of all, we need to have a sheet of plywood. We know our sheet of plywood is four feet by eight feet. All right, so the minimum code says that we should have along the edges, we should have a nail every six to eight inches along here. And then on your interior studs, we can get away with 10 to 12 inches apart, okay? Now, like I said, this is the code. This is the minimum. If you live in a high air, wind area, such as, like, if you live in Florida and you got hurricanes, or you live in Louisiana where you're going to get hurricanes, or maybe in California where they got earth, a lot of earthquakes, then you may say, okay, we got to add more nails to stiffen this up, and you got to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll use these minimums and then like I said, if you have different, yours are different, then you can add, okay. So 8 uh, feet is 96 inches, so if we divide that by, let's go 6 inches, so that is, um, you're going to put one, uh, two nails for every foot and then add one for the beginning. So let's go that route. So you got eight feet, so eight times two, that's 16 nails plus one for the beginning, so that's 17. So this one will be 17 and this will be 17. And then on the interior, you've got eight feet, so that's eight plus one, so that'll be nine. So you'd have nine here and nine there. So if you add all those together, you got 17, 34, and 18 is 50, 62. Is it, my math is correct. Um, 34, 40, 52. Okay, um, it's 34, 52. Okay, so one sheet of plywood would be 52 nails. And if I'm putting 60 sheets on my house, 12, 0, that would be 3,120 nails, which is about a box and a half, okay? With nails running anywhere from $50 to $100 a box, it adds up pretty quick, okay? So whether you put that that way or you put it this way, if, like on your decking where you lay the sheets this way, again, it's six inches along this edge, six inches along this edge, and then a little bit wider apart there, okay? So you got 16, 32, 48, and then 16, 32, 48. So you got one, two, three, four, five interior studs and two exterior studs. So that would be eight and nine. <laughs> And nine and then four feet so that would be five, five so you got 25 uh, 34 43 nails per sheet okay that's on the minimum minimum okay same with the subfloor so to add strength you're going to add nails make sure you add nails um, you're going to use more of them probably Okay, um, last thing is what size nail do you use? Most of the time you're going to use an 8D nail, which is two and a half inches long. Um, you can use a 6, but again, if you're going to use a 6 and it requires an 8, you have, might have to use more of them. Okay, so when you figure 8s, that would be this number. If I figure 6, you're going to have to add you know, maybe two or three per row. So you're going to add, add up the seven to, so you're going to add another, you know, looking 10 to 15 more nails per sheet. Okay, so make sure you use the correct length of nail 
Um, I like to use the ring shanks because they don't pull out quite so easily, okay? And they hold a little bit better. So you can use the ring shanks, you can use smooth shanks, steel. Um, since this is all gonna be covered up, you use steel nails, you don't have to use galvanized ones or zinc coated ones. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, so you go with the cheaper ones. So that would be estimating nails for sheeting, decking, and subfloors.